Hello everyone, this video is actually for Aiden. This is his little MG1 I've been restoring for him. Or uh, mainly just getting it working again. It was in pieces when I got it. So I had to re uh, retrace all the wiring. As you can see, I still got some cut where I've been working on it. Um, but, anyways, as you can hear, Aiden, you now got a working MG1. Hadn't scaled it, I hadn't calibrated it or anything. But I found several problems on this unit. Uh, one of them you had a transistor that had opened on the oscillator circuit. And then you also had a shorted, uh, a shorted chip in your oscillator circuit as well. So this thing basically was doing nothing on your oscillators. Um, but basically your little square wave oscillator still worked. Which actually is something I found out that's very interesting is it actually uses the same chips as the Polymoog. Um, the MM5823Ns is the chip number. And um, But anyways, as you can hear now, the little sense working great. Because it's out of calibration, so... But um, anyways, your ring modulator works. Or your bell tone, as they call it on here. The tune that oscillator. So you can tell it's definitely at a scale. Um, but that works. Also, your noise source works. And your modulation works. Which actually, I can do this. It's kind of hard doing all this one handed. Put that. Sample and hold. Actually, that's a square. Not sample and hold, it's just really slow. Without looking at the front panel, it's hard for me to tell where these positions are. But, um, anyways, all your oscillators work now. Oscillator 1. Let me turn that back down. Your sync works. So all that's working correctly, and your oscillator 2 is... But anyways, as you can see, it's coming along great. I've cleaned it up for you. I took it all apart and really cleaned it. And um, so hopefully when I get this thing all back together, It'll be great. Um, replaced all the capacitors. You actually had a power supply failure as well. One of the uh, you had a uh, regulator to go bad, which is a TIP30. So I had to replace that. Replaced all the uh, filtering caps for Ripple on your power supply. So you should have clean audio output. I mean, clean uh, DC output now on your power supply. Uh, replaced a lot of the filter caps. A lot of the uh, caps that work with uh, envelope generators and things like that. So you're in business. Now all I gotta do is I'm waiting on one slide to come in, which is for modulation on the filter. Because as you remember you were missing that slider. And uh, I'm gonna calibrate this thing up for you and get everything mounted back and hopefully you'll have a very nice playing little MG1 for a long time to come. Alright, so Aiden, I now have your little MG1 back together. It's all back together, I calibrated it. It's been on now for about an hour, and uh, as you can hear, it's one oscillator.
place. With that said, your filter works. Your envelope, your uh, control generator works. Has your different modes. And then, like I said, you have this poly mode, which is really cool. Um, but what's cool about it, it's kind of bland by itself. But when I do this, Anyways, as you can hear, this thing works pretty good now. Um, you're missing the uh, modulation slider, which, like I said, I got one of those ordered for you, so it should be in some time. Um, but anyways, this is your modulation here. You can hear. Sample and hold. Something I love to do is put just a little vibrato. Soft tooth and pulse wave. Square wave. You got bell tone. things like that. You got noise source, which still works. And then you got your poly mode again. But uh, anyways, it's fully working except for your modulation for filter. It's all clean. It's all put back together. Looks really nice and I think it's going to work good for you. So uh, anyways, I hope you enjoy it and I'll get it out as soon as possible to you. Take care.